So this sense of being, uh, you know, uh, when in the teaching practices, when you're talking about the sense of being, uh, uh, resting. Uh, so sometimes we we think or we feel a sense of being is a way of avoiding um, uh, disturbances or uh, negative emotions or conceptual thoughts or experiences or appearances is a way of avoiding them, right? Sometimes one might see that way or feel that way or maybe sometime do that way. So it's not really exactly saying that, right? It's not saying that um, if you are depressed, if you are sad, if you are sad, then uh, go away from that or something like that. Somehow, uh, it's not saying being sad is wrong. All I'm trying to say is. It's really more like being interfered by sadness. So either it's attributes, concept, thoughts, emotions, like sadness, fear, depression. It's your relation to them. Are, are, they, uh, are they interfering? Or are they okay? Are you managed to be with it? Can you utilize it? Can it become door to your journey? A path to your journey? Door to your destination? Key to that wisdom? So it's, that's the question, right? Is, is it what it is for you? It's not saying it's bad. I think one thing, probably as, a, at least as wish to be a Dzogchen practitioner or trying to be a Dzogchen practitioner, is to have that understanding of negative emotions are not bad. Just straight it out. Seeing them as a mistaken it itself is an error. Or seeing them error itself is a mistaken. So sometimes you might think, oh, it's a great realization, like uh, I, I, the anger is really bad. So I have realized the anger is really bad. It's not a realization. It's another layer of duality. But ability to be with anger, or almost like be one with anger, or anger to be one with that sacred space, allowing to be in that sacred space, accommodating, hosting, that's the ways to work with that, right? Does that make sense? <laughs> 